Draft Engines. In this week's SBT Tech Tip, we're going to talk about the lubrication system. Your two-stroke engine uses a total loss lubrication system. What that means is, is that fuel, air, and oil enter the crankcase through the intake ports here where it lubricates your connecting rod, your main bearings, and the bottom of your cylinder skirt. As the piston moves down, the fuel, air, and oil can transfer up into the combustion chamber where it will lubricate the combustion chamber. Any remaining oil will get burnt up with the fuel and air and spit out the exhaust port. There are two ways to get the oil into the engine. One is injection, one is premix. Let's talk about injection first. With injection, you have an oil pump, which is driven usually by your crankshaft. You have an oil tank, which supplies oil through this line here to your oil pump. The pump will then pump the oil through these two fittings to these two fittings right here, which inject oil into the intake track, where it's picked up by the fuel and air and lead into the crankcase. There are a couple advantages of oil injection over premix. One of them is convenience. You have an oil tank, you have a fuel tank. As long as they both remain filled, you shouldn't have a problem. Another thing is that a lot of these pumps have an adjustable lever which is connected to your throttle cable. This enables the pump to put out a small amount of oil at low speed, which is all you need, and a much larger amount of oil at high speed. The advantage here is that you're going to burn less oil and you'll have less smoking at the lower RPMs. The other method of lubrication is premix. That's where you premix your oil with your fuel in your fuel tank. The advantage of this is it's very reliable. There's no oil pump to break, so as long as you're getting fuel, you should be getting oil. The disadvantage is it does tend to burn more oil and smoke a lot more at low RPMs. It is possible to switch from injection to premix. What you would have to do is remove your oil pump and replace it with an oil pump block-off kit. One of the things you have to look for on Sea-Doo is this oil bath area here. When you're switching from injection to premix, you still have to maintain oil in this oil bath to lubricate your brass gear that drives your rotary shaft. You do that by maintaining the oil line right here that runs from your oil tank to the bottom of your case, and then there's another line that runs from the top of your case back to the oil tank. I cannot stress enough the importance of proper lubrication in your engine. Face the facts. Without proper lubrication, this engine is going to seize and you're going to go nowhere. It's very important that you get the correct amount of oil and the correct type of oil as well. Refer to your engine manual to get the correct type.